this doesn't end for me here. The university can pull the case all they want, but the reality is, is this doesn't end for me. I'm still getting those hateful messages. I'm still being told to go back. I'm still being called a terrorist. And like I've literally said that this is my lived experience and this was the whole reason um, that I posted what I posted. To me, it's become really quite uh, polarizing and uh, uh, the, the discourse has, has in, in my view, uh, undermined really the, the principles that we really um, uh, uh, cherish and the goals that we were trying to achieve. Spaces where people can come together um, as, as humans and individuals and talk to one another and do things together and build coalition. I don't think it's just about having some uh, students talk about systemic racism. I think like if the university wants to take solid action on this, uh, they have to start centering these conversations. They have to have them on faculty and student levels and in the administration. Like the administration um, is literally a bunch of white people and one um, racialized person, which is the vice provost who made this decision. So um, it's obviously like not very reflected in the institution.